Welcome to VideoTutorial.net's course on SOLIDWORKS Surface Design and Modeling. The skills I'll be teaching in this course are based on our previous courses like the SOLIDWORKS Essentials courses, the SOLIDWORKS Part Modeling course, the Advanced Part Modeling, as well as Assembly and Advanced Assembly. In the previous volumes of our SOLIDWORKS courses, we've worked with solids. In this course, we'll be working with surfaces. So right here, I'm going to quickly create a solid. And I'm not going to cover those basic skills in this course. You need those under your belt to follow along and learn in this course. Let's begin by talking about surfaces. What exactly is a surface? I will use an analogy to help me out. So imagine this is a solid piece of metal here in my graphic area. But let's say I created this model using just aluminum foil, for example. So when you've got a solid that's, let's say, made from aluminum foil, what's different is that it's hollow. In other words, the model is built with surfaces. Technically, aluminum foil isn't a surface since it has some thickness. Surfaces have zero thickness. How exactly has SOLIDWORKS created the extrusion that I've got in the graphic area? Well, one way we can conceive of it is that SOLIDWORKS has created six surfaces, the surfaces that make up the exterior of this rectangular prism, and SOLIDWORKS has stitched it together, and the enclosed volume becomes the solid that we see here. You might be asking, what is the usefulness of surfaces in the first place? Mostly, I need to model solid bodies, so why do I want to bother working with surfaces? We could easily just use, for example, the shell command to make this extrude hollow. We don't need to work with surfaces. Well, sometimes using the shell command would be the right thing to do. Surface modeling is simply another set of tools for your tool belt. Most projects you work on do require a final output that's a solid surface, so your final goal is usually to create a solid. However, working with surfaces has many advantages, and once you see what those are, you're going to be hooked. Let's begin by showing some examples of why working with surfaces would be useful. Let's create some geometry in our graphic area. I'm going to right click on this face, sketch. And let's create a spline here. 